In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use Cameron Champ's proven slingshot technique for more power and club head speed in your golf swing. What's up, everyone? This is Jim Labuda here once again. And like I mentioned, today we are going to take a look at the golf swing of Cameron Champ. Now, looking at his setup position here, a few things we're going to point out. Cameron's got the ball a little bit further back in his stance here. I really do like at this point how as he set up, He's got his lead arm and that golf shaft in a really, really straight line there. Hands are going to be slightly ahead of the golf ball. As he starts turning away at this point, a couple things to point out. You see how his hips at this point almost start to turn with his upper body. It's not something we're used to seeing. We see a lot of players create that separation between the upper and the lower body. But Cameron Champ does this. He kind of turns everything rotating back together. As he gets to the position in the golf swing where he's got that lead arm parallel to the ground, again, we see here how he's creating the correct leverage in his golf swing to be able to produce a ton of lag. He's got this L formed with the lead arm and the shaft of that golf club. This is how he's gonna start creating lag in the swing. Now, as he starts getting to the top of the swing, a couple things to point out here. Number one, Yes, I, we would all love to be as flexible as Cameron Champ is again. I mean, this kid's walking out there like Gumby. We're going to notice here how lower body is definitely what's going to start the swing. But this is where he starts using his what we call slingshot technique to sling and basically snap the golf, head, golf club through impact, creating a lot of speed and power. First thing we're going to notice is as he starts coming down in the downswing, he focuses on this trail elbow. He wants that elbow to really start getting into and thinking about that getting to the golf ball first. Obviously, it's not going to, but he is the more he can create that leverage and keep that angle in his swing, the better he's going to be, the more snapping power he's going to have through impact. After the elbow gets there, the next focus is the hands. He wants the hands coming down. You can see here the hands are what's leading the club in. When it gets to that, the hands get to that trail thigh, you can see the amount of lag he's got in the golf club here still. The next thing he focuses on is getting the shaft coming through and then the head of the golf club. So his sequence that he wants to create this snapping motion is going to be elbow, hands, shaft, club head. And you can see at this position where he's got that lead arm and the shaft of the club here, most players at this time, we saw it set up. He had a nice straight line from that lead arm all the way down. But you can see how he's snapping power through here. His hands are definitely ahead of the ball. We don't really see many players hitting a fairway wood like this. And then as he continues through, right arm starts to extend and he gets into a full release. You can see here at impact again, that right elbow is still a little bent and he's fully extending it completely after impact. So if you guys are looking to get a little bit more club head speed in your golf swing, focus on what Cameron Champ does here. Yes, he starts to downswing with his lower body, but as he turns and rotates through, think about the sequence that he uses. Get that elbow going at the golf ball first, then the hands, then the shaft of the club, and then the head, and see if you can snap the head of that golf club through, creating more power and speed in your golf swing today.